So I've been making lots of stainless steel braided hoses and some associated, I welded up some brackets and things, so I'll show you what's going on. So all the big hoses are done. And there's my new uh, water pump installation and the coolant to oil intercooler. I'll go underneath here and show you that in a sec. So basically got all these lines run, fuel lines, coolant lines, vacuum lines. And um, they're all done except for the, the uh, number four, the and four fittings. And they, uh, the little ones run um, from the back of each um, throttle body to the, uh, to the log plenum. And um, I'll show you my problem with number four lines. So these are number six, number eight, number 10, number 12, number 16, number 20. All the big ones are fine. But when you cut, uh, do I have a cable? Uh, okay, in here, here we go. So here's an example of where I'm starting. So there's a hose end. You wrap um, um, some fiber tape, some structural tape around it, and then you cut it. And I don't have a, like a shearing tool, which I think I'm going to buy. I have um, just a wheel that I cut off wheel that I'm using, and it frays the ends as you can see here. And then you try to jam this in here. And for anything that's number six and larger, there's enough space. The ID here is definitely a millimeter larger than the braided hose, but this braided hose is it's like um, 11 millimeters, and this thing is not even an 11. It's probably well, it's 11.3 versus 11.2 or something. So this is just like, you actually have to squish it in place. And the problem is with the frayed ends, they spring out. There's a thread end in here. So if you push and twist, you can get it to feed in. I've successfully done it a few times with the number four lines, but I've never managed to get both ends on a correct fitting. So all these fittings will wait until I get a new strategy. Either that or I'm going to pay a professional to uh, to make up these these uh, for me just because the number four lines for whatever reason this is about one millimeter to uh, to narrow uh, and uh, the small pipes you can't can't squish this they they're, they're so tight and they just there's no compressibility whereas in the larger lines they squish a bit and you can jam them in there so massive frustration anyway I'll crawl into the car now and show you the underside of it a little bit of a tough uh, position here but so against the brace which is um, supports the front engine mount. I've tapped some holes for this bracket that I've welded up. So it's one by two uh, square tube with, with a, a flange and because it, this bracket runs at a bit of an angle relative to, to, to where the oil cooler is, I have to sort of weld the, the plate on at an angle. So I'm gonna zinc plate this tonight and then I'll paint it after it's been zinced. So you can see the way the oil, uh, the, the water pump mounts. This stuff's like super rigid. It's not moving. I was going to build another bracket to bolt this to, this cro to, the, to the engine mount cross member here, the front horns, and I, I don't need to. This thing is absolutely rigid, and I haven't even tightened these connections up. So that dash 20 coupler is massive, and the same with this. This whole assembly here is very massive, and it's, it's firm, so... Anyway, that goes through here and all the way up to the engine block. And this here is actually a temperature sensor um, housing. And so I've got three temperature sensors. I've got one in the cylinder head, one in the radiator, and one on the return line. And this return line is going to give me like the sort of let me know the difference between the incoming temperature and the radiator and the outflowing temperature back to the block. I'll be able to see how effective the radiator cooling is and I can adjust fan speed. Uh, profiles and stuff to to make sure that I'm getting the right balancing in the cooling system, and so this this drives the the um, the intelligence for the water pump, uh, which is you know computer controlled as well, right? Because it's all fancy stuff that I'm doing, and um, this I'm not going to use a 90 degree here. Uh, you, you can see it uh, sticks out just below, but it's actually the same level as the uh, oil pan. Um, and a little bit higher than, than, than the rest of the suspension components. But it's a little bit risky having that stick down. Nothing I can do about it. It's, uh, just ran out of tolerances. So I'm going to a 120 degree. So this will curve up slightly and then attach to, to, to the oil uh, cooling line. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll just sort of have to be careful not to jam the car up against the concrete uh, 
block, you know, I'm not going to probably do that. So, I mean, it's sort of pretty. I love being under the car and looking at all the, the handiwork. Uh, you know, it's going to be nice when it's all done. It's basically uh, kind of like you can eat off of it. It's all so shiny and everything is pretty under the car. So, anyway, I'm getting closer and closer to getting all the major systems done. And then when they're done, I'm going to be doing the wiring, getting the sensors installed and getting the wiring for the computer going. So, I'm not too far from getting that done. So, I did find this great little tool on the internet that, um, cool tools, so what basically you do is you, you put the, um, um, the fitting for the hose end in this little nylon container. There's an exploded picture of it with, with an adapter. And then it funnels it in, it squishes the end in, um, and then it, as it protrudes through, and then you're, then you're ready to go and you can thread the other end in. Um, I can do this without this tool up to N6, but down at N4, as I said, I can't do it, so I ordered this. Plus, I ordered one of those um, pair of stainless steel braided line shears to go snip, and it kind of compresses the, uh, um, and folds the metal in a little bit, actually. So rather than using the cutoff, where you end up with, uh, you know, all the material fanning out, um, this actually leaves it slightly pitched, so anyway, we'll see. I'll get this Tuesday, Wednesday, and then I'll be able to finish those last uh, couple of van lines, and then I'm done.